to the Cap County. Uh, thank you for joining us this morning to conduct this key in rim test, which is demolishing a blighted property. Uh, I'm Alan Mitchell, the uh, Director of Community Development Department, and I'm joined by the county staff and also preeminent commissioner, Commissioner Larry Johnson of District 3, who will provide comments uh, after I do some inter introductory remarks. Welcome, Commissioner, for joining us today. Uh, as you all know, that the CEO is not here. However, I would indicate that beautifying the county and removing blight has been a key priority for our CEO over a number of years. Since 2017, when he took office, CEO enhanced uh, county blight uh, initiatives to address derelict properties. Uh, under the CEO's leadership, uh, we collectively as a team have demolished or abated, including today's activity, 637 properties. That's a significant amount that we've done since 2017 under his leadership. Uh, the key years would be 2019, where we did 159 abatements and demolitions, uh, followed by 18, where we did 153. Year to date in 2023, we've got 17 under our belt. Has a lot to do because of the court system is just getting reactivated because of the uh, results of the pandemic. So we've had success, tremendous success, being able to uh, remove blight throughout the entire county. Today's demolition is a property identified in a comprehensive property condition survey, which is a major initiative that we took on to provide a tool to code enforcement to be able to identify properties that are in atrophy. Uh, by way of background, this study uh, was done to include all of unincorporated DeKalb, where we looked at over 140,000 properties. For the first time, we've been able to identify properties in advance to provide the code enforcement so that we can actually take action to get rid of abatements and or demolitions. This is a great tool to have in our tool bag. Also, CEO Thurman has increased resources to help us with this obvious key activity. Pacific cleanup initiatives are still underway, clean sweep throughout the county. Uh, CEO Thurman also has created a, a blight task force. So as I said earlier, I'm a member of the DeKalb County Blight Task Force, so as a lot of people here today. But he created that to be able to enhance our efforts to make departments work more effectively across uh, continuums within the departments. Uh, today's Demolition is in District 3 and 7. That's 3 and Super District 7. Uh, in addition, uh, 3659 Briarcliff Boulevard, Radcliffe uh, Boulevard, has been an ongoing issue since, uh, for a number of years, with code enforcement. Since May 1st of 2020, the property has been in a state of disrepair, vacant and unfit for human habitation. On April 27, however, the county filed a complaint in rem and summons uh, and with the court system led by code enforcement who's with me today as well as the law department. Uh, uh, the matters were reviewed uh, on the hearing which was on May 19th uh, and no respondents from this area showed up that owned the property. So as a result of that the county requested a demolition permission It was granted by Judge McNeil on June 1st 2022. A lien would be placed on the property. The approximate cost for the property today is about $28,000 to conduct this demolition. Uh, Kisper Construction is the uh, lowest bidder, and government, you know, we use the lowest bidder, but Henrietta is here today with her team, and she's helped us out tremendously over the years to take down these properties. At this juncture, I will turn the mic over to Commissioner Larry Johnson to provide comments, then after his comments, I will have citizens from the community speak, and then the last se sequence will be that we will actually get into the actual demolition. So, Commissioner Johnson, would you join the mic? Thank you. Okay. All right. All right. Good morning. Good morning. This is a great day in District 3. Blight will be removed. It no longer is part of our, uh, our area. We're going to get rid of it when we see it. We work through our court system. If we can't get a response from the owner, we're going to get the courts to do it, and we're going to tear it down and make you pay for it. And so that's what you're seeing here today. With the help of Alan Mitchell, our CEO, who's always on the case, focusing on blight and removing from our community. As you all will see, look around this neighborhood. This is a beautiful neighborhood. It's peaceful. But when you see an eyesore like this, it stands out. It makes it look like, okay, what is going on in the community? Why they can't get rid of this house? And as you all have heard from Mr. Mitchell, it's a process. It's a collaborative process. It has to go through the court system. Code enforcement has to come out. We get our police officers involved. We got the contractor involved. This is a multi-level uh, process, and guess what? We get to be here today because we're going to hear from a resident like Miss Chambers who walks the streets, who will not tolerate nuisance, who will not tolerate just blight in her community, 
and she will stay on the people who have to get it done, from the owner to the county, code enforcement. Every community needs to have a Miss Chambers. I'm going to repeat that. Every community needs to have a Miss Chambers. She's been here over 40 years. She cares about this community, and she not, she's not going anywhere. I don't care how many folks put something in her mailbox and say, we buy your house. She's not going to sell because this is an excellent neighborhood, and she's going to make sure that it stay premier. So without further ado, I want to call up one of our heroes. I want to also mention Ms. Linda Cotton-Taylor. She's not going to speak today. Yes, I am. She's going to speak? All right, she's going to speak now. All right, I want her to speak because she has helped us with the Chapel Hill Park around the corner where you can now fish, you got an amphitheater, you got a new playground. Right. This community Pier. up here, this community is rock solid. Yes, That's why a property like this cannot stand in our community. So I'm gonna turn it over to Ms. Chambers and then to Ms. Cotton Taylor and you're gonna see why the, com the community does what it does because we have good residents like this. Come on, Ms. Chambers. Right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. As, as he mentioned, I have been a, a, a resident of this community since 1978, and I consider myself a foot soldier. I walk these streets almost every day for years to a point that when the dogs see me, they just look and say, oh, that's the lady that walks. They don't even <laughs> bark at me. But one of the things that was very disturbing to me to watch this beautiful property go down, right. watch the rodents come down the streets. You may see a snake, the cats, just anybody just at this particular property. So this is a great day for us in this Chapel Hill community to see this property go down. All right. All right. All right. Let's see. Uh-oh, here we go. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Chapel Hill. Yes. This is a great neighborhood and a great day yes. at Chapel Hill. I am the beautification chair of the Chapel Hill Neighborhood Association. Ms. Chambers works with me. We are going to change and transform this community. When you see blight, I just brought them another house that I've been calling on <laughs> and gave it to them, show them the printout. I make sure y'all see I printed it out for them, put my notes on the back and right. gave it to code enforcement. <laughs> we want to be partners with code enforcement. We are not your enemies. We need your help to make and yes. keep our community safe for families and friends. Thank you again. Welcome to Chapel Hill. All right. Wow. Good job. All right. All right. Well, thanks for those excellent remarks, and especially those from the community and, of course, the commissioner. At this juncture, we're going to turn the uh, program over to the construction company where we're going to initiate uh, the beginning of the construction. Uh, so at this juncture, uh, Kisper Construction, will you start the bulldozer to take down this property? <laughs> 